All right, so we're going to start standing up here. And this month theme is about mindfulness. We're going to take time to reconnect to our body and just see if we can deepen our practice to find a little bit more sensory in our body. Okay, find more connection, um, find more awareness, find more grounding, expansions, find more stability, control, and simplify the movement, yet make it stronger. A little bit gibberish for some of you, maybe. All right, let's just begin. All right, so we're going to stand. Standing in a position that your heels are aligned with your sitting bone. Your sitting bones are those bones in underneath your touch. If you lean forward, you can sort of palpate and you find those two protruding bones. Those are your sitting bone. Right, so align your heels and your sit bone. So parallel position doesn't mean that they are as wide as your pelvis, but actually a lot smaller than what you think they should be. All right, and then just drape the arms down by the side. And don't worry about the posture. Just present yourself on the mat. And I want you to just, you can close your eyes or you can keep your eyes open. I'm going to close my eyes because I'm going to have to increase my sensory here. As you stand, I want you to ground your feet down, meaning you know, feel that heaviness in your feet as they connect to the ground. And that sort of almost feel like your whole body is sinking onto the earth or into the earth. And then spreading your toes like they are duck little, little duck webs on the ground. And then lifting the arch of your feet as you, and from there, I want you to feel that lifting of the arch, the energy drawing up through your legs. And it's feeling the, the, the strength of your legs coming up towards your pelvis. It's almost feel like your pelvis is now floating off the floor. And then from there, it energizes your spinal column and allowing the spinal column to lengthen up towards the floor, off the floor, sorry. And then allowing your head to again travel upward easily, loosening up the shoulders, Allow the arms to drape down. Allow your body to feel light on the floor and yet heavy with your feet on the floor. And then from there, I want you to just lean the whole body forward so your weight is a bit more towards the front of your feet. And then bring it back above your heels and slightly back, but don't fall off. And then come back to the center. And again, just sway forward and then sway back and just see what happened or observe what happened to your alignment. Are we breaking the alignment from your lower back, from your pelvis, from your knee? Just observe. Are we keeping everything upright and moving only from the ankle joint? Are we finding it difficult or challenging to lean back? And just observe that. And then let's come back towards the center, what you think is center and come to a stillness. And then sway towards your right. And then back to the middle and sway towards the left. Like a clock, tick tocking to the left and right. And again, observe. Is it more challenging to find more weight bearing on one foot than the other? This small little, this small little awareness will take you far once you become more sensitive with your body placement, with your body connection. And then from there, I want you to just bring yourself back to where you think is center. And then just stay still there, opening the eyes. Wow, gorgeous, gorgeous posture, everybody. I love it. Softening through the knees here. We're going to roll down, OK? Now from there, we're going to start drawing the head down towards the floor. So curling the head and then allow that rolling to happen down through the middle back. And then we're going to pause in the lower spine, the lower back. And see, before you tip the pelvis forward, can we then lift the abdominal up towards the lower back a little bit more and go to a deeper, deeper flexion before you start taking the pelvis forward and flex from the hip joint and your body travel towards the floor. And then we inhale at the bottom there. And as you exhale, before we come up, press down in the feet as you lift up through the legs and then 
left things to the pelvis and bring the pelvis to upright position, and then slowly backing up the spine into that beautiful lengthening of the posture or the position, the standing position. Again, we curl the head down and we soften through the knee. We're going to pass through the lower spine, the lower back here. And see if you can find a deeper lift in the abdominal. So get you into a deeper flexion before you take us towards a forward pelvis at the hip joint and bring yourself down to the floor. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, we press down as we lift through our spine. And still have your knees bent, softened. And then we start stacking up the spine like a Jenga. One on top of the other, nice and neat, right up to the highest point. One more time. Exhale, we roll down. The arms are just draping by the side. And we just want to see if we can release the tension. Maybe shake those wrists a little bit more, perhaps. Take it up all the way down as we fold the pelvis forward. In breath at the bottom. We press down as we lift the center. And we take us up all the way up and find ourselves standing at the tallest, tallest, tallest peak. Beautiful. Nicely done. All right, let's transfer ourselves to the floor. We're going to sit in a diamond leg position. Gorgeous, everybody. Gorgeous. Half your feet pressing, gently pressing against each other. Here. Right. And then just take your arms forward here. Now I want you to feel as you press the feet to each other, you feel that connection of that leg, so inner thighs drawing all the way towards your pelvis area. And find your sitting bone and see if you can perch yourself right on the sitting bone, not to the back, not to the front, right above it. So you find yourself in a nice vertical alignment in the spine here. So active legs, active pelvis, active spine, active arm. We take the arms up to the sky as we in-breath. And let's open the arms up to the side and allow the upper back to arch back slightly, allowing expansion in the body here. And then bring ourselves upright. And then from here, we pull back in the abdominals, we round the body, we go into the C curve. Take a moment here. Now as we stay in the C curve here, can we pull back a little bit in the abdominal? Can we reach your arm forward? Press the feet a little bit more to each other so you have the energy running from the legs to the pelvis, to the lower spine, right up to the crown of your head and to your fingertips. And then from there, we lift the whole spine upright. In that vertical alignment, we open the arms, expand the chest, arch the upper back, and then come upright. We exhale. We pull back into the abdominals, go into a C curve here. And then we inhale. As we take the arms up, we open the arms out to the side. We allow our breath, breath to open the chest. And then come upright, exhale. We round the spine. Again, last one. We inhale. We lift through the spine. Open the chest. Arch the upper back. Upright and round in the back into that C curve. Can we see if we can pull up and over forward more rather than rounding back? So the energy is forward with the arms and backward with the abs. And let's do one more time. Inhale, we lift up. And arms to the side, arch the upper back. And we round the body forward, pull back in the abdominal. If you see my shape, I'm quite in a forward curve here rather than backward curve. Beautiful. All right, let's stay here. We're going to roll back. Move the pelvis forward, backward. So rotate the pelvis backward. See if you can get the sacrum to the floor. Perhaps you want to have your hands underneath the thigh and the lower back to the floor. Then we're going to inhale and pass here. Exhale. We're going to lift up. Use the feet. Use the arms to help yourself up and over forward. And then we lift up. And we open the chest, we arch back and upright. Again, one more time, we round forward. 
and we rotate the pelvis back, we get the sacrum right down to the floor, we get the lower back right down to the floor, perhaps grab the back of your thighs if you need to, in breath, exhale, feel like someone's pulling you up, use the arms, reach up, up and over forward, and then lift up, open the chest, upright, and stay here. Take the arms up to the sky. And now from here, reach over to the right as we inhale. I want you to feel the arms lengthening out of the pelvis, a sense of lightness upward and heaviness through the hip joint. And come back to center. Beautiful. Over to the other side as we inhale, reach long. And anchor down in the opposite pelvis. Exhale, come back, center. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, come back, center. Again, inhale, reach long. So I want you to keep the bo both of your waistband nice and long as you go into side tilt or lateral flexion and come back to center one more time. Inhale, lengthening out from the pelvis. Nice work. And come back to center. And inhale, lengthening out of the pelvis. And come back to center. Over to your left again here, stay. The bottom arm will come down. Softening through the elbow and go to a little bit deeper side stretch. As you lengthen the arms and the back, I want you to ground the hip joint down to counteract the position and lift up, extend the bottom arm, bring the bottom arm up and come upright. Last one, over to the other side. Bottom arm will lower down. Softening to the elbow, lengthen out as you go deeper into the stretch and really ground and anchor the hip bone down. And then lengthening the bottom arm, reach out, bottom arm comes up and upright and we stay there. We rotate to your right, inhale, lift, rotate to the left, inhale, we lengthen, rotate to the right. Inhale, we grow tall. Rotate to the other side. Inhale, we grow even taller. And rotate. In breath. Can we find more space in between each vertebra every time you come back to the center? And we rotate. And we lift. And we rotate. And we lift. One more each side. And we rotate. We lift, last one we rotate, we lift. Arms open to the side, give me an arching back, upright, round the back. As you come forward and let's roll the spine all the way down. We're going to pass the chest lift position, place your arms down by the side, bring the legs to a parallel position. Make sure the heels are aligned with the sit bone here. Spread the toes and release the head and the chest down. And just take a moment here, again, to ground the feet down to the floor, to spread the toes open on the floor. And now I want you to reach the arms away from the shoulder so your arms are active on the floor and reaching towards the heels. And then from there, as you exhale, I want you to think about drawing the heels towards your pelvis. So kind of dragging the feet back towards your pelvis. So you find that your hamstrings are now active here. And then from there, you use abdominal to imprint the lower back. Have the feet actively drawing towards the pelvis and then continue rolling up through the spine for our pelvic curl. Right up to that bridge position. And just stay here for a moment, observe. How are your feet? Are they still in a parallel position? Are they still drawing towards the sitting bone? How are your knees? Are they still in parallel position? Are they open way too much? I want you to press the big toes down and see if you can engage more of the inner thighs. Can we curl the tailbone up a little higher so we ease the pressure of the lower back? Can we press the shoulders down and lift the chest a little higher? And then as you breathe out, Softening to your jaw, softening to your chest, we roll the spine gradually down, vertebra by vertebra, right back to your start position. And we prepare again, we in breath. 
Exhale, we press the feet down, we drag the feet towards the pelvis, then we curl the pelvis. And then we use the hamstring to help you to articulate up towards the bridge position. Beautiful, another checkpoint, inner thighs are active. Curl the tailbone up a little higher by squeezing the glutes without splatting the knees out to the side. Reaching the arms forward, pressing the arms down, lift the chest a little higher, but keep the abdominal connected. We exhale as we lengthen out the spine. We roll down, softening through each vertebra and release back to the floor. We've got one more time here. Exhale, we press down with the feet, we draw the heels towards the sitting bone as we curl the tail up using the abdominal and we travel upward to that bridge position. Beautiful shape, everybody. Nice and strong knee shape. Inhale, we lengthen, we lengthen the spine. Exhale, we soften through the spine. We take ourselves gradually down towards our start position. Okay, keeping the pelvis nice and long here. Float the right leg up to tabletop as we breathe out and stay. Use the right hand, press against the thigh. I want the pelvis to stay long on the floor. As you breathe out, push down with the right hand and put a break on your right thigh and stay there for three, two, one, and release on the in breath. One more time. Exhale, we push down with the hand against the thigh. Put a break on your thigh. Make sure you do not grip too much on the hip joint. Stay there for three, two, one, and release. And we lower that foot down. Let's go to the other side. We breathe that, stabilize the pelvis, we take the other leg up. Left hand, thigh. And then breathe that, we press down, and we put a break with the thigh, lengthening the pelvis. Stay for three, two, one, and release. Again, we press down. And then we put a break on the thigh, lengthening to the pelvis, try not to grip the hip joint, allow the pelvis to soften to the floor. Stay for three, two, we stay, release the arm down, tippy toe on the other foot, leg changes. We breathe out, we change the leg. And then we breathe out, we change the leg. The movement comes from the hip joint and try to keep the knees nice and constant. And change, and change. Keep the pressure of the abdominal inward towards the floor. The spine stays long. The pelvis stays long. You find sort of easiness in the hip joint as your legs move up and down. And give me one more set. And last one. Bring both legs up to tabletop and squeeze them together. Open the arms up to the T position here for our spine twist supine. Rotate towards me please from the waistline as we inhale. Legs stay together, control the movement. Exhale, from the waistline, we return the leg back to the center. Over to you as we inhale. That's it. Exhale, come back to center. And inhale, we're working on stabilizing the center here, so we don't want to go too far that you lose control of the legs. Exhale, come back. And inhale, it's about control. And exhale, Back to center and in breath and come back to center. We go one more time here and exhale, come back to center. Now we're going to lift the arms off the floor. Now see if we can do it the same way. It's going to make it a bit more challenging. Over to me as we inhale. You may not go as far. Can we anchor the shoulders down? Exhale, come back and then control the legs as you rotate. And then exhale, come back. Inhale. I invite you to, be, to have your movement nice and clean with great precision and integrity. And exhale, come back. One more each side. Inhale. Exhale, come back. Anchor the shoulders down. Keep those arms active. Last one. In breath. Exhale, come back to center. We lower one foot down, second leg down bringing the heels aligned with the sitting bone. And I want you to grab the end of the mat. Silka, this is for you, my friend. We're going to do chest lift and chest lift with rotation here. Now, 
Elbows are slightly up. I want you to hold the end of your mat here. Okay. Now from here, take an in breath. As we exhale, softening the rib cage as you lift the head and the chest up. I want it to be heavy on your mat. Allow your arms to work. Allow your neck to lengthen. Allow the shoulder to drape down, but your upper abdomen is working really a lot here to help yourself up. And we exhale to come back down. In breath as we lengthen the spine. Exhale, we lift up and over. Neck is long, shoulders nice and easy. Chest is high, shoulder blades off the floor. Inhale, we hold. Exhale, we come back down. In breath, we prepare. Exhale, we lift up and over forward. You're creating a hammock-like support in your upper back. And you're allowing the abdominal to work a lot more here to, get, to help yourself up into a chest lift position. And exhale, we come back down. Let's go one more time. In breath. Exhale. We'll lift up. Up, up, in breath. We lengthen through the spine. Exhale, we come back down. All right, we're going to do it this time with the hands behind the head. See if we can find the same quality of the lift. Hands interlace the back of the head. In breath, prepare. Exhale, we lengthen through the spine and we curl ourselves up and over forward like as if the mat is still underneath us. Inhale, we find ourselves lengthening out. Exhale, we come back down. Again, in breath. Exhale, lifting up. Finding more possibilities to engage abdomen a little deeper while lengthening through the spine and finding a little bit more easiness in the shoulders and the neck as we come up and come right back down. Last one here, breathe in. Exhale, lengthening up and over, forward, 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 inhale. Exhale, we come back down. That was beautiful, everybody. Oh, beautiful chest lift, hands back on the mat, please. We're going to do chest lift rotation. Take an in breath. Again, shoulders nice and anchored down, and we'll lift up. Your arms are working a little bit here, and stay. Rotate from the waistline towards me. In breath, center. Rotate from the waistline towards you. In breath, center, beautiful, and exhale. So allow the mat to be like a little hammock. You can rest back into the mat as you rotate, but at the same time, we're gonna lift yourself off the floor, so your arm needs to work. Exhale, rotate from the waist. In breath, center, one more time. In breath, center, last one. And center, and release yourself all the way back down. Beautiful, hands interlace behind your head here. And we'll do the same. Take an in breath. Exhale, we'll lift up forward. All right, from the waistline, we rotate and see if you can find the same quality of movement like before. We rotate, in breath, center. We rotate, center. Stabilize the center, stabilize the pelvis and rotate. One more each side. The elbows don't actually really close in or open. You're just moving and rotating from the waistline, center and come right back down. Beautiful work. Arms overhead. Walk your feet a little bit more forward and dorsiflex your feet. Right, so the angle of the knee is quite large here. Right, I want you to dig the legs to down to the floor, dig the heels to the floor, squeeze the legs together. Now, for the modified roll-ups, we inhale to lift the arms and then lift the head and the chest up. Now, from here, pull the heel towards the sitting bone Engage the back of the muscle, the, back, the muscle of the back of the leg, curl the tail up, so a little scoop here, and then help yourself up, over, 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 into that C curve there. Now, keep the legs active. We in breath, we hold and lengthen to the spine. We exhale, we rotate the pelvis. We get ourselves to the floor, sacrum down, lower back down. The feet are still active, the legs are still active. Then we take the arms over, head. Again, we inhale, arms up. Lift the head and the chest up. 
pull the heels towards the sitting bone, curl the tailbone up, imprint the lower back, then help yourself up. That's better. Ah, that's gorgeous. Into the C curve. Inhale, we lengthen out through the spine. Then we exhale, your feet are active, your hamstrings are active. We are curl the pelvis down to the floor. Keep squeezing those legs and then take the arms all overhead. Let's do that again. Inhale to lift, chest lift. Pull the heels to the sitting bone, curl the tail up, lift yourself up, keep those arms active as you're squeezing a ball. That's better, that's gorgeous, that's gorgeous. Inhale, we we'll lift up and over. Exhale, we send the pelvis under. Rotate back, rotate back. Legs are active, legs are active, and then we'll take the arms overhead. And then we're gonna straighten the legs. You can also choose to keep the legs bent, that's fine. Let's go to the traditional roll up, the arms come up, the head and the chest lifted. Then squeeze the heels to a sitting bone, curl the tail, help yourself up. And see if you can find, yeah, yeah. A deeper connection with the legs and the pelvis as you roll up. And go ahead and roll the pelvis back. Rotate the pelvis back from the hip joint. Legs are still kissing each other, but legs are really working. And take your arms over here. Let's do that again. Arms up, chest lift, heels to the sitting bone, curl the tail up, use the arm, press the arms. Nice. Ah, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. All right, and in breath, exhale, we curl the tail, roll back, roll back, roll back roll back and take the arms overhead. Beautiful. And then from here, take the leg, the right leg up the tabletop, grab the hands underneath the knee, one and stack it on top of the other, press down on your legs or on your shin, lift the head and the chest up and stay. So my elbows are bent, I'm working with my abdominal here, and I want you to press down as we curl up, curl up, Curl up, curl up, curl up into that secret position again. Now, my arms are active here. I'm not changing the distance. Now, from there, I'm go we're going to roll back again. See if you can press down into the shin, pull back into the abs, and take yourself into a chest lift position with control, with grace. In breath, we hold. Exhale, press down as you dip, skin the abs, bring yourself up into that C curve. Ideally, the shape of the body should stay constant. Watch the shoulder though, drop the shoulder away. And we roll back again, pull back in the abs as we take ourselves to a chest lift position. Make sure the shoulders do not creep to your ears. We go one more time. Press down in the legs and curl up. Stay in that C curve. Curve, curve, that's it, in breath, and exhale, roll back again, find that curve, maintain that curve, press your arms away nice and strongly here, and release the head all the way down, lower the foot down, bring the other one in, extend the first one up, bring it up to the tabletop, and grab the shin, bend the elbows, lift up and over forward. All right, arms are working here, and then continue rolling up as you press into your shin, into that C curve. Press down, Carl, press down, use your arms. That's it, in breath, find length through the spine. Exhale, press down as you pull back in the abdominal, reach the other leg long, and just go to that chest lift position. That's it, in breath, press down as you curl up. Up, up, up. You gotta push down in the hands though. Use your arm muscles. In breath. And press down as you curl back or roll back. Back, back, back. One more. And connect your arms with the shin to deep, to find deeper connection in the abdominal. Come up, 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 and stay. Bring the other leg in. Guess what? Rolling like a ball. I want you to have that same sort of understanding in the center as we're going to roll in the ball. So let's have the feet off the floor. 
bring the hand slightly higher than your ankle. Stay in that C curve position. You know the arms need to work here. Balance on your tailbone here. Maintain the C curve. Let's go in. How we roll to the shoulder. Exhale, come up and over. Balance. That's it. Inhale. Can you try to make this movement nice and graceful without flinging the legs up and down. Beautiful. Inhale. We're going to lock the shape. Exhale. Come up. It's about finding a deep connection into your center as you go back and forward. Again. Inhale. Exhale. Up. Over. In breath. Exhale. Come up. Over. And in breath. Exhale, come up, over. Beautiful. Beautiful. Place the feet down, open the knees, and let's extend our back. Let's find length through our spine. And then release that. Let's then extend your legs forward for your spine stretch. So the heel should be about slightly wider than the shoulder or shoulder width apart. Arms forward. On a, a nice long back. If you find it challenging for you to sit with a straight back, go ahead and bend the knees slightly. But make sure your legs are active here. So I'm thinking of digging my heels to the floor. I'm pulling my toes towards me. At the same time, I'm also pulling my heels towards my hip joint and keeping the energy to lift up from my spine, crown of my head, and out to my fingertips. My whole body is working here. I'm preparing myself for a successful exercise. Take an in breath. Exhale. As I roll, we're going to roll the spine down. Articulate right down towards the floor, or not towards the floor, just slightly off the floor. We bring the pelvis slightly forward as we in breath. And exhale. We're going to curl back and stack the spine, and we'll lift the spine up tall. Again. Exhale, we roll the spine down and forward. As we inhale, can we take the pelvis a little bit more forward to get more stretch in the back of the legs? Maybe stretch in the back as well. And then exhale, we roll and stack it up like a Jenga, right up to the upright position. Again, breathe out. We roll down, we roll forward. Then inhale, we hinge forward at the hip joint. Now let's just stay here. Grab the ankle. Amy, this is for you. We lengthen through the spine and see if we can get a beautiful long back here. You really want to hold on to the ankles and use the arm muscle to pull back into your armpit as we allow the spine to grow more. Now watch that the neck doesn't do the job. The neck stays long, but what you want to work on is finding the tailbone reaching out backward and the sternum reaching in opposite direction. The arms pull back to engage your lat muscle, and we really try to pull the heels away to get a nice long leg. Now here, my friend, is your open leg rocker position, right? So remember that position as we do the open leg rocker in a bit. All right, release the arm, take the arms forward. And we round the back and we roll the spine right up and tall. Beautiful. Let's go. Grab the ankle, upper leg rocker, second leg ankle. You can have the legs in a diamond position here. Okay, so we're going to do a modified version and then we're going to work on with a straight leg version. So pull back in the arms. Glide the armpit down on the side of the ribcage, that's your lats muscle, and allow the spine to grow. And just watch the neck. You don't want to throw the neck back, but keeping the neck nice and long here. And then we're going to roll back. We find that C curve that we worked before, and we come up and over into that rolling like a ball, and then we're going to lift and elevate the spine. Ah, uh, beautiful. And we round and we roll back. Grace, we come forward, we lift, lift, lift more. Use that middle back muscle to push that chest up. Again, we round, and then we come up and over forward. We allow the spine to grow tall, to create more weight, create more space in between each vertebra. One more time, we round the back, and we come up and over forward. We lift, 
and lift. Now we're going to straighten the legs. We're going to extend one leg to wherever you can. You can also stay to do it with the bent knee position. And then the other one, extend as far as you can. Your arms need to be plucked down on the side of your lats. Your legs need to be reaching out. Use your cordyceps, the thigh muscle in front. Gorgeous, everybody. Let's go three of this. Inhale, we round. Work those arms. Reach the leg. Work those arms. Pluck the arms and lift back. You gotta pluck the arms down. Again, we roll back. Straighten the knees, use the quads, pluck the arms down and lift the back. Ah, beautiful. Again, last one. And pluck the arms, lifting, 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 lifting. Hold that, take the hands off. Lower the legs down with grace. Flex the feet. Aha, open the arms. Beautiful. Palms facing forward. Let's go to your soul. We rotate to me. In breath. Move the arms. One forward and back. And hinge forward. Back arm goes to the side. Open the arms and center. We rotate. Move the arms. Now we hinge forward from the hip joint. Try to keep the back muscle active. And then bring the back arm to the side. Open the arms and center. And we rotate. We move the arms. We hinge forward the next day long. And we lift back, open the arms, open the arm, and center, and twist, and move the arms, and hinge forward, and back arm to the side. We open, and center, last set, we twist, move the arms, and hinge forward, and move the back arm to the side, open the arms, and come back to center. Last one, we twist, we move the arms, we hinge forward, and back arm to the side, we open and come back to center. Place the hands behind you. Bring the feet in. We're still in the parallel position here. Nice and open across the front of the chest. The spine is straight. Dig the feet down, drag the heels towards the sitting bone. We curl the pelvis up. We articulate the pelvis and the spine. We take ourselves to an open hip joint long back, press up with the chest, push up with the glutes, the bottom, take an in breath here, exhale, we roll down, articulate, vertebra by vertebra, as you go down, we push away off the floor with the arms, and we come back to that beautiful long spine, your bottom is just floating off the floor, again, we press down and drag the heel as we curl the tail up, we take ourselves all the way up to that open, hip position, push away off the floor with the hands, we push the chest up a little bit more, and exhale, we roll down, do not sink, but float away, float off the floor, and release the pelvis down, let's do one more time, drag the heels towards the sitting board, and curl the pelvis up, push the floor away, push the hips up, press the hands away, push the chest up, Reach the knee away, reach the crown of the head away, and exhale, we roll down. Watch the neck though, watch the neck, roll all the way, right back, lengthening the tail, and come right back down to the floor, beautiful. Rotate towards me, please. And let's go. Elbow align with the armpit here. Bend the bottom knee. Now, hand on the ribs, the bottom ribs and the waist. I want you to sink down. When you sink, you may find an uncomfortable sensation in the shoulder, right? But I want you to then engage the lower waist girdle and pull up. And as you pull up, you find that there's less tension in the shoulder. Now, again, we sink and just observe what happened here Right, and then we lift the lower waistline and the shoulder girdle up. And then here, can we just hold that position? Really try to pull up or crane the ribs up, crane the waist up and hold that position. And then let's take the top hand behind the head or here if you need help. And reach the top leg long. I want it to still maintain, oh, come back down. All right, when you lift up, watch this. All right, let's do that again. Lower, push off the floor, maintain this alignment, lift the leg, don't drop. Ah, bueno, flex the foot, 
Let's go forward. Exhale. Inhale, reach and reach further. Exhale, forward and forward. Inhale, reach and reach. Exhale. Minimize the rocking of your body as you go forward and back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Find stability in your center. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Find length here. Exhale. Reach, lengthen. Like that, as if your head is being pulled away, really. I'm going to reach my hair away so I can find more length through my spine. Inhale, inhale, last set. Inhale, back and stay. Reach the top arm forward and rotate the body. Do not sink. Lift the back leg up for five and four and three. Push off the floor. Two, one. And bring the leg back to center, bend the knee, come on up for a little mermaid here. And if you find it uneasy in the hip joint, go ahead and put a cushion here. Um, Laura, if you're here, if you find this is a bit uncomfortable for you, you can put a cushion underneath you. Let's take your arms out to the side here, everybody. We're going to go towards the back leg. We're going to inhale to lengthen. And then take the top arm, yes, Laura, and take the top arm over. That's it. And then lifting up. And then come back up. Now here, lean your body away. Place the bottom hand down. A little different here, guys. We'll keep the spine long. Rotate the trunk. Take the arms out to the sideline here. Now, thread a needle. Bring the arm underneath the armpit. We're going to rotate towards the back. You can soften. You can soften the elbow as you thread your arm through the armpit or underneath the armpit. And then we open the arms and we rotate back facing the front. Let's do one more time and we come up. And side bend, but find length through the spine here. Softening the bottom elbow, reaching the top arm away. Beautiful. And then lengthening up the spine. And reaching out, reaching out, reaching out, place it down. And rotate and thread the arm through. Rotate to the back wall. Make sure you find length through your spine. Don't crunch that spine. And open the arm up to the side. Rotate back, face me. And come on up. And release. Good job. Switch leg. All right. All right, same thing again. Top arm underneath the ribs. Align the elbow and the shoulder. We sink. All right, we're going to sink with the gravity here. We're going to fix this. We're going to lift the waistline. We're going to lift the rib cage. We're going to lift the armpit here. And then we allow ourselves to sink again and be heavy. Again, we push down. We lift and lift and lift. And we maintain this position. We transfer the hand behind the head or in front of you. Without sinking down, we lift the top leg up. Ah, uh, bueno. Wow, look at you. Dorsiflex. And let's go forward. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Back. Back. Minimize the rocking. There will be some rocking, but I want you to minimize it. And that the movement comes from the hip joint. We flex forward. We extend, we open the hip back. And we flex forward. But as though the hair is reaching up away from you. And reach, reach, and reach back. And reach, reach, and reach back. Hold the waistline, everybody. And lift them back. One more set. And reach. We hold Rotate the body, extend the top arm. And then from there, lift the back leg for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Come back to the center and come back in here. So, if again, if you have issue with this rotation, give me one sec. You can use a cushion right here to elevate the hip. So it's a bit easier in the hip, if you like to. Just giving you a suggestion, perhaps for next time, right from here. We're gonna 
lean over towards the back leg side. Take the top arm over and go into a side stretch. Ah, lovely. And then lengthening up, reaching the back. And then lean away and reach down. And rotate. Then thread a needle. We rotate. No, sorry. We bring the arm underneath the armpit and reach to the back wall. And open the arms again. Rotate back, face me. And come on up. All right. And again. And over to the side. Lengthening up and over. And then reach up and grow tall. Lean away and stay long. Bottom arm down. And rotate to the side. Bring the arm underneath the armpit and loop it through to the back wall. Twist, twist, try not to crunch the spine. And come back side facing and front facing to me. Oh, Silka, watch this, honey. <laughs> and then come on up. Good job. And release. Let's go to our front, please. And we're going to go into your prone position, which is on the belly. The arms go along for the side here. Right? And have your legs together, fit together. All right? Glide the arms to the side, like as if your arms are in a side pocket. We inhale, we lift the head and chest up. We keep the whole spine long. And exhale, come back down to the floor again. We inhale, we glide the shoulders, we lift up into extension. The neck stay long, the arms stay long here. And Exhale, coming back. And let's do one more time. In breath. I'm thinking about reaching my arm to my feet. I'm engaging my thigh muscle. I'm bringing my pelvis, my pubic bone down to the floor. And I'm lifting my abdominal so I can support my back extension. And I reach myself right down to the floor. Let's bend our elbows. And bring my, our forearm to the side of the shoulders. Okay, let's do some baby swan. Now from here, we glide the shoulder blades down, and then we'll do the same extension. We lift the chest forward and up. And you know what? Let's see if we can do this. We're going to press the arms to some high swan. We use the abdominal. We continue our journey to a full extension. You may or may not extend the arm or the elbow fully. That's fine. Find a position that works best for you today without pinching the lower spine. With open chest, Gina. Lift the chest a little higher, my friend. Beautiful. Watch this. Thank you. And then descend the elbows down. Resist the spine. Support with the abdominal. And take ourselves all the way down to the floor. Again, we glide the shoulder blades down. And we'll lift the head and the chest up. And we continue. We press the arms away. Use the arms muscle. Use the abdominal to support your back. Lift up. Open chest. Gaze to the front, everybody. And we send the elbows down. And we take ourselves all the way right down to the floor. Let's do two more times. And we inhale. We lift forward and upward. 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 Beautiful. Watch the neck though. Your neck should be aligned with the spine. Not tipping up. Not looking down. But rather long. Gaze is forward. And soften the elbows. And let's take yourself down. One more time here. We in breath, we we'll lift forward and up. Up, up. Neck long here, everybody. That's it. Look forward, not to the sky. And send the elbows down. Come right down, down. And let's push ourselves to rest position. We curl forearm down. We send the pelvis through the heels for a quick rest position. And then tuck the toes under. Push yourself up to your stretch position here. Right. So push her up to the sky. Arms are nice and active. Your back is active. If you were a unicorn, your horn should be reaching right down towards the floor, aligned in line with the arms here. And then the sitting bone is reaching up to the sky. Your chest is nice and open. Lower the heels down. Reach the sitting bone away. And lift the heels up again. 
and lower the heels down. Back is nice and long. And reach the heels up. One more time. And lengthen the tailbone, lengthen the sitting bone away from the spine. Push the floor away with the arm. And then lift the heels up again. And then go ahead and bend the knees. And then lower the knee down and come up to your kneeling position. So your knee should be aligned with the hip joint here. We take the arms forward. Imagine there is a table underneath your arm. I want you to gently press down onto that imaginary table so you, then you can engage this girdle to your upper abdominal. All right, thigh stretch, everybody. We press down, we curl the tail under, we find connection in your center, we lean back, lean back, lean back from the knee, hold, and exhale, come back upright. Again, we press down, we draw the pubic bone up towards the belly button, we anchor the center, we lean back. Make sure you do not break that spine, keep the neck long, and don't throw your head back. And exhale, press down with the arms as you come up. Let's go two more times. And press down, abdominal, and lean back. Press down, press down, press down. Beautiful, Vina. In breath, exhale, press down to come up. Ah, gorgeous. Last one. And press down, curl the tail a bit more. So your hamstrings are working, your thighs are working. We lean back, and we go further than before. Let's go, go. Go, that's it. And let's come up. Ha, beautiful, everybody. And we open the arms out to the side. We take an in breath. We exhale. We curl into a C curve. So pull back in the abs. Pull back in the abs. Round the spine. And open the arms. Come up right. Again. Exhale. Energize the arm as you pull back in the abs. We set the pelvis or curl the tail under towards the knees. We lean back and you go further just before you sit down onto the floor or on the heels. And then we come again and open. Again, two more. Arms forward, C curve, exactly what we did at the start of the class. And we're gonna tuck the tail. Can we just sit down before you touch the heels? We're gonna come back up again. Pull back, pull, pull back and, up, and open one more time. Again, arms forward, active abs, curling, tuck the tail under, curling, 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 and come back up. Next one, we're going to really sit down, <laughs> and let's go. Arms forward, pull back, and we pull back in the abs, we reach your arms forward, we send the tail under, we sit the pelvis right down to your heels. Nice work. And then we roll the spine down. We reach the body down to the floor, and then we just stay here for a moment. In breath, and exhale. One more. Inhale, and exhale. Then let's roll our spine up, and just stay there for a moment. You can sit in any position you like, and just take your hands on the front of the chest. Close your eyes for a moment here. Allow everything to soften, the jaw, the forehead, the shoulders, the nose, the chest. Inhaling through the nose, expanding the ribs sideways. You inhale, you inhale gratitude for this moment of time. We exhale. Softening to the body. Again, we inhale. We inhale, allowing any possibility that can happen to our life. And exhaling, we're allowing our body to be grounded, stabilize, be present. Continue inhaling and exhaling on your own time. You allow the breath that you inhale to be to detox the body, allowing possibility, welcoming any possibility that happens in your life, allowing gratitude to expand your life. And as you exhale, 
inviting a sense of groundness, firmness, awareness, anchorness into your body. Let's do one more time, everybody, with me. Inhaling. And then exhaling. And let it go. Thank you for moving with me today. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos Focus on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and pin on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.